This is Fact TV. We bring another fact you wish to know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell and turn on the notifications so that if any video is uploaded you be notified. The Immortal Jellyfish. It's one thing to survive in harsh environments, but quite another to hit the reset button when faced with an imminent threat. Only one animal is known to have this remarkable ability, a species of jellyfish, Turritopsis dorni, first discovered in the 1880s in the Mediterranean Sea and highlighted as a uniquely enduring organism in the exhibition. Like all jellyfish, Turritopsis dorni begins life as a larva, called a planula, which develops from a fertilized egg. A planula swims at first, then settles on the seafloor and grows into a cylindrical colony of polyps. These ultimately spawn free-swimming, genetically identical medusae, the animals we recognize as jellyfish, which grow to adulthood in a matter of weeks. Before we proceed if you like the fact please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel click the bell below and turn on the notifications so that you will be notified when any video is uploaded. Fully grown, Turritopsis dorni is only about 4.5 mm, 0.18 inches, across, smaller than a pinky nail. A bright red stomach is visible in the middle of its transparent bell, and the edges are lined with up to 90 white tentacles. These tiny, transparent creatures have an extraordinary survival skill, though. In response to physical damage or even starvation, they leap back in their development process, transforming back into a polyp. In a process that looks remarkably like immortality, the born-again polyp colony eventually buds and releases medusae that are genetically identical to the injured adult. In fact, since this phenomenon was first observed in the 1990s, the species has come to be called the immortal jellyfish. The cellular mechanism behind it, a rare process known as transdifferentiation, is of particular interest to scientists for its potential applications in medicine. By undergoing transdifferentiation, an adult cell, one that is specialized for a particular tissue, can become an entirely different type of specialized cell. It's an efficient way of cell recycling and an important area of study in stem cell research that could help scientists replace cells that have been damaged by disease.